Lynn, it's nice to be back to see you. We called in uh, a few years ago and just, yeah. just spoke to you in the yard. And, uh, yes, it's we nice said, to we, see you back. We said, <laughs> we said we'd get back and we've great reason to, to come back and, and say hello to you. Is, um, obviously, the, the pink trailer and I yes. think it's a credit to, to, to you and your brother for uh, putting it out there and getting the message out there. But just want to ask, can you tell us a little bit about Davy's Brothers, how it started, when it started, and well, how you I got to be so big? Well, when I start, well, I was 15 when I started. I bought a Ford 5000 tractor for about £1,275 and a far 5 foot 6 mower for £369. And it started all from there. OK, you bought a new 9800i here. Hmm, that's a good... <laughs> There's a bit of difference there. <laughs> Looks good, but the worst part of it, you've got to pay for it. So you started, um, it, just tell us a little bit about how you grew the business and how you got it to where it is today. Well, it just moved on quietly over the years. Um, back in 1972, as I said, uh, things were a lot cheaper then to start than it is now. Um, I, my elder brother with me started uh, a year or two after that. Um, which then Hugh came into the business seven years later and then well we were three in the business at that time but we were having extra drivers in over the summer then um it's just moved on moved on well Hugh. like you're talking there about very humble beginnings back in uh, did you say 1972 yes uh, when you went out and made that first purchase just to put this into perspective for our viewers um what's all happening this weekend and in particular today for Davies Brothers contract. Well, at the minute in this farm here now, we've got two self propellers going, uh, seven trailers, two rakes. There's two sets of mowers going here and uh, a tedder. Happened to be now, there's only one tedder out here today. Um, two maize drills going, four power arrows, uh, plowing. Yeah. <laughs> and a quad track. And a quad track. <laughs> How does a quad well, track get round these roads and wheels? Never mind and how good it is and what it can do. Well, it's more um, versatile than you think on these small roads. OK, it must be because it looks big. And the roads a, are small. <laughs> it's got a five metre quad till behind it. Um, but it's it, it, it's a fair age of a quad track. It's an 05. But it's... Well, the hours weren't very big on it when we bought it and then it must be very good to us so far anyway. And, and is that its main job, just pulling that? Discs, yeah, the big jobs, yes, yes. And and there obviously are plenty of those big jobs about in this part of Wales. I, I don't associate this part of Wales, maybe I'm wrong, with a lot of arable. Well, we've got a 12-leg 12, uh, 12 subsoiler that she pulls. So it's, so it's still doing a lot of work that's based around the forage side? Yes, and top work, yes, yes. And you have a cup, have you one or two lorries? Three lorries, three yeah. Arctics. <laughs> so, you have lorries, yes. you have tractors, yes. you must, and you also, yes, you're predominantly John Deere, but there are a couple a of different types. A few masses, yes. Well, have you a preference there, or? You're a Ford man. I'm a Ford man, yes. Uh, How have you seen no, any? No, I just want to try different makes. We did have uh, classes, but uh, we went off them then. Uh, Oh, you have a John class on the maze drill? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a big class driver. And he likes the class? He likes the class, yes. So your 9800 that you brought in, what did you trade in for it? A John Deere 6850 uh, plate. That... But you had a 7980. 7980. Has it now become your spare machine? Well, that's the third machine now, yes. Do you Which we do use with some farmers want to haul their own with a haul with their own trailers and then we just take the harvester. Oh, so the three harvesters do work? They do work, yeah. Yeah, they're three out at the same time some days, yes. Well this can't be normal cutting silage in April in Wales, or maybe I'm wrong. Well actually we were, we finished this farm by this time last year. Is that when, when would, is that like a main crop first cut or is that just... Well, no, he wants to get it off because he wants to plant maize back in the fields, most fields that we have done. Yeah, well, that's right, because uh, li literally yesterday when we were here, we, the quad track was following the... Yeah, following the machine, Following, yes. so that's... This, this field's here now, a permanent uh, grass here now. 
Yes. Aye, this is permanent grass. Yes. Aye, but yeah, yesterday. So the, yesterday was basically a crop grown to get a cut of grass off to get, to get to plant maize back in. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's why you had the, you had the class in there with the old knives. <laughs> with the old knives, <laughs> picking the stones up. There was a few, a few wee stones. A few stones. I haven't up, heard yes. any stones going through yeah, the job. Yeah, there that, that comes with the job, really, doesn't it? Well, 19 and 72 to now is a lot of years. Yes. Um, obviously, you've seen a lot of changes in the agriculture and within the, yes. within the industry. Is there a future in it for young ones? Well, it's a job to know, isn't it, really? I would think it was tougher to start off today than when I started, probably. But, there's, but it's doable. There's, there's still contractors starting off, yeah, yeah, that's, you know. I mean, you've built a, 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 a monster of a business here now, and um, it's, uh, it's been very successful, so it's still doable, but you think it would be hard for a young one doing it, but surely they would, you, you need young blood coming through as well. Oh, no, no, no problem with that. But it, it's, no, it's taken nearly 47 years to come to Bayer, though. <laughs> I, a, li a lifetime. Do you get yes. to drive now? Do you drive or do, are you all organising now? Uh, mainly organising. I do go out and Ted and row up for the bailers now and again and do a bit of blowing when I get a chance. But uh, I will be going on the harvest and we'll have a couple of hours on it probably. And bailing, so you're obviously, you're bailing as well. Square bailing, round bailing. Everything? Everything, everything, high marks and everything. What about slurry? Do you work in the slurry? Slurry, yeah, slurry too. Three sets of slurry kits. Oh, fantastic. Um, well, look, thank you very much for allowing us to come out, particularly with the pink trailer. Um, uh, no problem. Are you excited no. about the, the new trailer? Yes, it's very good. It's good, it's good for a good cause. We have a lot, lot of cancer in the family over the years. And I think it was, as Hugh said earlier on, you know, to have a trailer, pink trailer with black spots on. And it, it just started from there, really. And I think it is a good cause, yes. I, I agree. And, um, you know, all our viewers will be able to, to log in and uh, yes. they can, you know, we've yes. put a link in and they can, uh, you know, can d donate a few quid. So. There we are. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. I know your phone is, uh, I haven't seen you away from your phone for this length of time and all the time I've seen you. So thanks very much Thank for you very much, giving yes. us a few words. And hopefully we can come back and follow the trailer's journey yes. over over this season back and forward and see how it's getting on. That'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Well, Alan, how's it going? Not too bad. First day out there on silage. Oh yeah, so you're flat out sure. We're we're here with you today. Um, we ladies boys, like we're not too far from is it Camarthen? Yeah, not too far from Camarthen, yeah. Um, and obviously it's your first day out of silage. You must be absolutely buzzing. Yeah, it's nice to get back into it. Um, it's my first year on this particular machine, the class. Uh, last year I was driving a John Deere 7980 and uh, we bought a new John Deere this year so I've had a slight upgrade or downgrade I would call it this year so uh, yeah <laughs> it's pretty exciting yeah. Aye, and how long have you been driving the harvesters here yourself? Uh, this is only my second uh, full season on the harvesters. Uh, the year before last I would just uh, take over from uh, if the driver wasn't you know couldn't come into work but uh, yeah, my second full season this year. Oh, very good. And uh, so how are you finding the class? Because obviously you're, you're, you have majority of your gear here is John Deere and you're saying you've gone yeah. from the John Deere now to the class. Like, Lovely. how are you finding it? I'm finding the class quite nice. Obviously, I did um, a couple of days on it last year. And it's just getting used to it now. And uh, a lot of people were pretty surprised when we bought one of these back in 2017 because previously We'd only been running John Deere's harvesters. Yeah. So it definitely turned a few heads when uh, we bought a class. But uh, no, it's been a good machine. We're really pleased with it. Uh, it goes really well. Obviously, every machine has its niggle, you know, but um, that's just life. But yeah, we're really pleased with the machine, really. Not oh, very good. And uh, like, why have you gone? Like, cause what John Deere have you now traded in for the 9H? Uh, we did have as a backup last year, it was a John Deere 6850 uh, 02 plate. So yeah. we traded that in for a new John Deere 9800. So it's got. Uh, and she, she landed la yesterday? She came to the yard yesterday, yeah, that's right. And uh, she'll do her first day out tomorrow. That'll, uh, that'll be an interesting flight to see, no doubt. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, uh, especially this machine and the, the John Deere side by side. Uh, we could use the John Deere today, but um, we're in uh, reseed ground, so we don't really want to send it out into too many stones. But uh, tomorrow we'll have some nicer fields and uh, yeah, see how she goes. Yeah, because today, um, today you've actually had the two rakes out. You're chopping, you're chopping at five mil, is it? Yeah, that's right. So the customer has got a biodigester, like an AD plant, and he wants to chop the grass pretty much as short as we can. So I'm currently on five mil now, and uh, because of that, I've had to slow the auger and the header down. So that's why it looks like we're going a bit slow today, but there's a good reason behind it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, obviously with the two rakes, then uh, the machine will chop a lot better when there's a lot of stuff going through. So we had the idea to uh, one rake, just rake two rows up and down the field, and then another rake come up behind it and put them two rows into one, so there's more going through the machine and uh, it'll chop grass a lot better like that. So that's, uh, it may look yeah. a bit silly and um, slow, but there's a good reason behind it. How many tractors have we got out today? Uh, we got, all together, I'm not too sure, but uh, calm with me now, we've got six tractors. And uh, there's, I think, three sets of mower out. There's tedders out. Uh, All together, we have 27-ish, about 25 tractors. Uh, most of them John yeah. Deere. We've tried a few makes in the past. We've had, uh, we've had a few classes. We've had one Valtra, but um, we seem to have, uh, yeah, like the John Deere's the most. We've given everything else a good try, a good go. But um, I think, well, my personal opinion, you'll have a job to be a John Deere. <laughs> <laughs> And like, obviously, is there any particular reason, like, what is it that's made you kind of stick with the John Deere's? Um, well, obviously, there's a dealer up in Narberth, which is only about 20 minutes away in the car. And uh, they got brilliant backup with them about these tractors. And uh, obviously, one of the reasons why we bought the John Deere Harvester. But uh, yeah, they got good backup with the tractors. And uh, yeah, it's to, they seem to go well. Obviously, they have some problems. But apart from that, yeah, they're a good tractor. It's great to have you out. It's something different. Um, yeah, exactly. It's been good. That's brilliant. Thanks a million. Okay, no problem. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Ta -ha.